but someone now gave me a, a good feedback and said they're not insulting you because they hate you they, they are yeah. insulting you because they cannot get your service yeah. that's their issue mm. so you just find a way it's of now to give get them back the power and yeah get provide get the, the the, yeah and provide the service Neviv. oh you're acting them yeah <laughs> they sell clothes okay they sell okay clothes. Sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. No, and my guest sorry sorry no i'm mad as they come in her head yeah <laughs> yeah there's a there's a platform they also they're always being told that their their delivery and their services are too slow you don't yeah. want to address and they they lie from my personal they experience lie. that oh it will come in 24 hours and you are really saying that this dress is going to come tomorrow and then they say maybe 2 p.m. but that mm-hmm. thing can come even tomorrow so or just give wow. them three days day. so just give them three days yeah but yeah work on your customer service yeah so such feedback well we i had that's the time now i had to start hiring so i had to get someone to do the customer service and we had ah. to get um oh, so that time you were the one handling i was handling everything, everything. Okay. so even when we are overwhelmed is i it's not like i was ignoring mm-hmm. they said center only the tweet said Why wouldn't you want to no 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 the tweet said <laughs> that you, that florist only sells to her rich friends <laughs> that that is what the tweet said they, really? did, not, they did not say they did not say center only sells to her rich they said the, that florist only sells to her rich friends so this person already has an insecurity that they are not rich i don't even know why they said that because no yeah. I, uh because i get so many good feedbacks on twitter when my friends are buying like yeah. people can post their flowers since I thank you very much so I, mm. maybe they thought I'm I'm not answering their dm because I only sell to this type of people. but the issue was I'm so busy handling phone calls I'm the one who is doing the dispatch I'm the one who is talking to the client on whatsapp so I'm going home in the evening I'm like oh let me check what is trending today and then I find like <laughs> five dms is you I'm like first of all for me I was feeling bad cuz like wow you really missed mm. the sale <laughs> So I was like why are they bantering me I'm the one who is losing mm. so uh then my friend said that is positive feedback get higher so I hired exactly. a customer Look service to do better, yeah. and I got a website and I think that's the best way to look at it. instead of being twitter a hey, twitter <laughs> twitter fingers with it is taking it as feedback and see how you can improve your systems so yeah, yeah. miss orders again yeah because some people might take that offensively and just Go Stayed, like you you don't know place. the hard work that mm-hmm. I've been doing I to know. make the business work. Um, but I'm sure it wasn't as direct. Of course, you had you said you cried almost the whole day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. You made the yeah. change. Yeah. Mm. So, and then... Um, okay, and then now... The, the story for trending on, on Twitter to my fast forward. Mm. I did online flowers for the whole of 2020. Uh, and 2021, I was selling online. Towards the end of 2021 is when I got my first shop at um Peponi Road. Uh, I remember I was I was feeling an I was working from my car and I remember I was feeling a little bit very disorganized. I was like I need somewhere mm-hmm. where from 8 a.m. things are happening mm-hmm. without me moving around and and and. So Sorry, was, what do you mean by you were working outside in your car? The I flowers was, are there. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was getting flowers from a lady the her name is Maggie she's the one who helped me with all this actually I'm so grateful for her because I think she really carried my business mm, she's she's a flowerist she, she has her own flower shop oh that's nice so, so someone to offer that help yeah yeah so even I would even travel and I just call her even I can I could be in Mombasa like on a boat and like please deliver yellow roses mm. why are you putting pink I said yellow wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh it's moving okay yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> So so we did that the whole of 20, 20 2020 and 2021 it was a very good relationship and then I I remember when I was not looking for my shop I was going I went all through Westlands and I wouldn't I couldn't get anything so when I was driving home I saw a shop where my shop is mm, I saw I saw a shop junction. at a corner yeah. <laughs> I remember taking an emergency break everyone was just <laughs> hooting I was like what is wrong with you so I I I turned and i went to, to that restaurant a restaurant and i got i got the landlord he's um uh, is a Contact. yeah and then i was like i need that shop uh, and i want it right now <laughs> period <laughs> period I mean, the same so the lady was like okay let me talk to my landlord <laughs> <laughs> so the landlord didn't think i'm serious so he's like are you sure we want to look i didn't even see the shop yeah. i said i want that shop i could see from outside that is what i want because it's facing the road mm-hmm. so they opened the shop 
I, I'm the one who pushed them mm. to give me the shop immediately. And then that's how I got my first shop. Um, and then now recently, that's we did that 20, the whole of 2022, the full year. Now this is 2023. And then I got my second shop in mm. Campbell Road. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank that you. That like a journey. And yeah. Wow. An impressive I, growth. I mean. An impressive <laughs> growth. And True, just yeah. making that decision to, you know what, my life needs a change, but making it right now, even if we're not, sure about what what's gonna happen we are going either yeah way yeah and just taking control of your life i yeah. think that making that decision means that you're gonna have to change a couple of habits within your life which is not the easiest part like yeah. changing your habits to becoming a certain person is not easy especially if it's something yeah. you've done over time like just being this kind of person that you are yeah so that's very commendable of you thank you and very happy that you now have been able to even set up your second shop, mm -hmm. you know, so that's not a small feat. Yeah. There's something you mentioned that I feel like we should <laughs> bring out mm -hmm. is like, even when you had no idea what life is, right? <laughs> yeah. Like after you quit your customer service job and all that, you are still upskilling. You are still keeping yourself busy. You are still keeping your mind engaged. You are still pouring into yourself. Yeah. And I think sometimes we can sort of throw a pity party for ourselves and just you know, everyone else is advancing me. I'm not doing anything, but you're not really setting yourself up for the opportunity. Mm. You know, they say lack is when opportunity yeah, meets preparation. preparation. The fact that you are even in that class, the open day of the entrepreneurship, and it's packed an idea in your mind. It's because your mind was already it's like a magnet. programmed yeah, yeah. to think a certain way and yeah. to pick up uh, things that are being said, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, actually, maybe I should do this this way, you know, because people think about big business owners, CEOs, as if they just got there. They just landed there. Yeah. Or even know? big influencers. You just yeah. think Alianza yeah. too juicy. Alianza too juicy. There's um, someone who's talking about the CEO of Centum. It's called something, Moria, Mr. Moria. And he started as an intern. And in seven years, he is now the CEO or something mm. like that. And I'm like, that means he had a certain mindset. mindset. And even when he was getting that internship with a whole degree, Aqua and Afikiria, mm, it, I'm, be, I'm above this or I should mm. be starting at an entry-level position or, you know, but just sort of taking in as much as you can and making yourself, getting yourself prepared for the next yeah. big thing. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm, you know, being a business owner, see, <laughs> like, and as you said, you don't even have as much time maybe for yeah. yourself. Yeah. But we do see like you're still active, you're still playing golf. Yeah. You're yeah. Still, you know, yeah. so you play golf. I'm learning to play golf. Okay. To play golf. <laughs> How has that been? Because then Alice, Alice has been the person I know plays golf, but that's you're her, playing her chess. Oh, I, I, and I, I, I now I'm start playing. Is. Wow. So my family back. is very big on golf, so almost everyone oh, plays. Golf, yeah. golf, golf is amazing. I, it's so funny. I'm, I'm not. I'm not only good at uh, meditation. I'm very good at manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, it's not just on the back, guys. <laughs> uh -huh. So I remember last. Uh, last uh, there's. I listen to a lot of uh motivation um people like steve harvey yeah i think i listen to even if i've seen a video of steve i'm gonna it still repeat. sounds different and fresh, yeah. yeah so some something is said that if you want to manifest a certain life you need to expose yourself to that yeah. to certain things so one of the things he said is that if you want to manifest money if it's, you want a lot of money you have to buy yourself an expensive handbag yes. like use the last mm. coin to buy an expensive handbag there's one he also I'm says do get a first class flight Tickets. and you never want to you will never fly again economy again yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> so he also said like you should so you go to no yeah, yeah I, okay, I did sorry. but not at that <laughs> <laughs> not not the handbag. Um, um, so he also said that you can go to a restaurant and order without checking for prices. Hey, you're programming okay, your so mind. Yeah, what you say. Yeah. So I said, so I, I I do that a lot. So I said, oh yeah, let me go to Windsor. And I was actually scared. I was like, if I go to Windsor, they are not gonna allow me to. <laughs> to because it's a club membership yeah. club but i went and nobody stopped me i asked where can i have lunch wow so i just went there and sat in front of the cool. there's a restaurant that faces the course so beautiful so i sat there i asked for i didn't i i didn't i didn't look for price i didn't check i just said can you can i have the best pasta i was i didn't even check them you know hey. like, can i have your best pasta and and a bottle of rosé oh, <laughs> I, I was like why if it's a little bit i'm just gonna cry <laughs> So 
so I just I sat there and I, I was eating. I'm just saying affirmations. I deserve this. Yeah. I deserve to eat such food. I deserve yeah, I to drink such here. wine. Yeah, to, I, belong. I belong here. So and I was watching people play golf. And then that I just went home and I forgot about it. And I was like, I didn't even think that I would be interested in golf. 